So here we go for the solution for this session, for this exercise. An experiment was performed to, uh, to locate the genetic information, which determines a hereditary trait, which is the color code of a fish, for example. You have to interpret. What is interpret? It's analyzed, plus you have to draw out a conclusion. So let's start step by step. Here we have in this experiment, we have a true breeding female mouse crossed with the male of the same genotype. So true breeding, they have all of them, they have the same descendants. And true breeding gray female mouse crossed with a male of the same genotype. So here as a result, we got embryos a form of 16 cells were extracted. We extract the nucleus of one of these embryonic cells and we inject it into fertilized ovium and we inject the nucleus here and fusion of the male and female nuclei occurred. Extraction of these nuclei where they are cultured in vitro for four days. We implanted the embryo into the uterine cavity of the foster mother, which is the true breathing female white mouse. It's not fertilized. It's only for gestation. It acts like the foster mother. So we have the birth of the black baby mouse. So we get the nucleus of this black baby embryo. So the nucleus of the black baby embryo is introduced into the fertilized ovium. So the cell membrane or the nucleus, they don't interfere in the color. And also the uterus or the food that's supplied by the true breeding female white mouse, they have no role in the color code of the mouse. So the color of the mouse is coded by information that are found inside the nucleus and they are not found neither in the cytoplasm or in the uterus or by the nutrition provided by the white mouse. So what does this indicate? This indicates that the genetic information that codes for the color coat or the color of the coat of the mouse is found in the nucleus, it's located in the nucleus and not in the cytoplasm or the uterine cavity of the foster mother. This is the importance of this information. You have to know this. You have to know that the nucleus is the carrier of the genetic information. And you have to know that the nucleus is only the one responsible for this, for carrying the genetic information, not the cytoplasm, nor the uh, cell membrane or the uterine cavity where the baby or the embryo is implanted. So you have to know this. Important note that the nucleus is the carrier of the genetic information and it's responsible for coding for this trait, which is the color code. So it doesn't mean it's only for the color code. It can code for different traits like the skin color, the body color, the color of the eyes, the color of, uh, for example, the hair and so on. So the genetic information, they are located inside the nucleus. So the nucleus is the carrier of the genetic and for